What's going on guys? Oh my god, Zilla back here with a very exciting video guys. Today we are looking at every single figure from Playmates Wave 1 for Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. We have the giant size, we have the battle where we have the two packs, we have the individual ones, and we have the minis guys. And of course we have the masks buried back there as well. So guys, super excited to take a better look at everything individually. Not going to do full scale reviews on everything. But uh, those can, are going to be available on the channel if they are not already very soon. But guys, looking forward to taking a peek at everything individually. Guys, without further ado, let's jump right in. Oh my god! All right, guys, we are back here once again taking a look at the entire pile. Most of these figures I do have a second version of in the box. The ones that you see kind of standing around are the figures that I do not have an in-box version for, which is pretty much just going to be the Giant Size Scar King and the Battle Roar Scar King. Sorry there, buddy. Don't mean any disrespect, but there is everything. We're going to go ahead and take a look at everything kind of individually or in groups at least. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the Giants. So starting with the giant size figures, guys, you might notice, first of all, we have two Godzillas. Why? Good question. So as you can see, first difference on these two figures is going to be the coloration of the elbow spike. This was kind of the first generation one. This was the first release, kind of much more of a pink. Same with the back half of the tail, much more of a pink. And then they kind of made it more dark red on the second one. So there's the, there's the difference between the two elbow spikes and then the difference on the color of the ends of the tail. So, of course, uh, them doing a version one and version two, I had to go ahead and pick this guy up. In the review I did for this guy, my biggest complaint about the Godzilla is that, you know, they can get away with it. It's Kong and Scar King because, you know, they're more, instead of Godzilla's kind of more profile heavy, whereas Kong and Scar King are more front on heavy. So they can get away with putting all the screws on the back of these guys. Not so much for Godzilla. Lots of screw holes here on the figure. So that's definitely the biggest downside. So the right side of the figure is definitely going to be the more camera-friendly one. Of course, I didn't do that for this video. But the right side of the figure is going to be the more camera-friendly one, whereas the left side is going to have lots of those screw holes. But I wanted to point out the difference between these two figures. Um, there is a Gen 1 and Gen 2. So if you have this figure, let me know in the comments which version you have. Do you have Gen 1 or 2? Or do you have both? Obviously, I'm a crazy person. <laughs> I have both uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2, or version 1, version 2, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in and out of the box. But I definitely like this guy. So I think Playmates did a really good job with him. The tummy tuck's a little bit extreme, I think, on this figure. But I think they did a very good job with Godzilla Evolved. And then obviously there he is, hanging out in the packaging. Scar King, like I said earlier, is the one figure I have yet to find a second uh, in-box version of. So I only have the out-of-box one that I did the review on. But he's very good as well. Pretty good detail on the face. It's fine. The they got the blue eyes pretty well. So I definitely can appreciate that. There's all the screw holes that I was kind of alluding to earlier. The, the whip slash here he's got does detach. I'm still, I'm gonna wait for a, a Scar King, hopefully like Haya Toys will get it, give us it, but I'm gonna wait for a Scar King figure. Obviously in the movie, uh, in the toys, he's got the jaw piece at the end of his whip slash. But in the movie, obviously he's got that big crystal on the end. Obviously I didn't want to spoil too much with it. So that's kind of why that was the case. But I can't wait to see an actual accurate whip slash on a Scar King because that'll be really cool to see with that blue crystal on the tail end of it. Very good. I can't wait to see it. Uh, one thing I noticed about the movie is that I kept referring to, like, I think this is, like, battle paint, war paint. And while I think that still is true, I think he does have war paint. He put it on. You can definitely see it on the other Kongs in his army, uh, the other great apes. Kind of that war paint on their chests and arms and stuff. And I wish they had a scene where he, we, we saw him put it on. Like, he's getting ready for battle, and he kind of gives himself the, you know, the war paint. I think that would have been really cool. And obviously, no box for him to chat about. Here is Kong with the Beast Glove. Unfortunately, guys, no metal tooth. I was really hoping they'd give us the metal tooth. Obviously, Kong got the metal tooth before we got the Beast Glove in the movie. Uh, so I was hoping we'd have that metal tooth on him. Um, but that is obviously not the case on this figure. But he's a very good figure. You got the chest damage. It's fine. Could have been a little bit better. Beast Glove looks okay. Uh, they actually, I think, did a better job on a smaller scale version of the Beast Glove because there's not really any color on this. I think this is the other one included some blues and reds and whatnot. They did not include kind of those little kind of smaller colors that would pop in on here. Obviously, there's all of our screw holes on the back of Kong. Like I said, guys, full video reviews on all these giant size ones available on the channel. Just kind of doing a quick recap on these figures here for you. But I definitely like how they did the Kong with the Beast Love. Looks pretty good. He's a respectable Kong. Obviously, the, uh, the best one, in my opinion, aside from the screw holes, is the Godzilla Evolved figure. Definitely love that giant one from Playmates. So next up, guys, is the masks. We have Godzilla and we have Kong. So first of all, just taking a quick peek at them in the packaging. I have not done a review on these figures yet for these masks. So I just wanted to kind of show you down. There's Godzilla. Looks pretty good. There he is on the back of the packaging. Uh, barcode, if anyone needs to snag that, try and get it in stores. 
But uh, I'm definitely kind of glad that these masks, they're a little, over, a little more expensive than I think they should have been. I believe they were 25 bucks a pop, which kind of came in a little more expensive than I think they should have been. But they're pretty fun little pieces. Um, obviously, I like the Godzilla one more, but the Kong one's a little more kind of, you know, face shape, uh, easy to access. Whereas the Godzilla kind of leaves you with the bat, bottom half of your face hanging out. So they do kind of have the, uh, the strap that goes over the top of your head here. And then this, they have the chin strap to activate the voice control. So we're just going to go ahead and take a moment and listen to the Godzilla. We'll give you a quick one more peek at him in the camera there. And we will go ahead and listen to Godzilla. So pretty good sound effects. He's only got the one sound, kind of the... But they got the, the roar last for a while. And you kind of have that classic echo out that the, uh, the Monsters Godzilla does have. He's got some nice orange eyes. Uh, obviously a lot of holes in the face to kind of give you breathing room. So in practicality, the Godzilla mask is probably not as good as the Kong mask. But of course I like it better because I'm hashtag Team Godzilla. But here is the Kong. No eyes for him. Obviously that's just as your actual eyes. Again, same thing. Chin strap there. The kind of top and side pieces. All of it's adjustable, so that's good. There's the Kong. And here is his effect. So I don't like that quite as much as Godzilla. Obviously, Godzilla's got such more of an iconic roar. Kong is just kind of a, you know, loud roar. Um, I really hope it'd be cool if we got a Scar King. I think Scar King's a really cool roar, kind of that echoey, like, da -da 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 thing to his roar. Really cool effect on it. Um, but there is the masks. Alrighty, the next set we have here is the Battle War figures. They did not give us a Shimo. I believe we're getting one in Wave 2, though. I think I've seen the photos of what I believe was going to be a Battle War Shimo. So we're getting that, I think, in Wave 2 of Playmates. But in terms of Wave 1, we just have Godzilla Kong and Scar King. Obviously, let's take a quick peek at Godzilla first. These are a little bit bigger scale than the 6-inch ones. I think by about an inch, they're bigger. Godzilla's kind of in this upward position, giving him like, a nice, nice roaring pose, I guess. They did paint the elbow spikes a nice dark red, because this is more themed after kind of the way the, the second version iteration of the giant size that kind of copied that paint job a little more uh, intensely. And I guess I have not done reviews on the, the Battle War ones. I'll have to get to those. I'm so sorry for not getting those out. Nice translucent spines on Godzilla, though. Now let's take a look at his effect. Obviously, a nice big button over on the right shoulder. And here's the sound effect. So there's kind of a, a heat ray, atomic breath sound effect. I think he's got more, though. Obviously, more of his classic roar. The mouth is obviously moving. And then there's that heat ray again. So two different effects on Godzilla. Pretty cool. There he is. Taking a look at Kong next. Uh, unfortunately, they decided to go around with Kong without his beast glove. Kind of uh, similar to... This, this is almost exactly like the Godzilla versus Kong. Battle War Kong. So that's a little bit disappointing that they got, got lazy and didn't throw the beast glove on this guy. There's that. He's obviously he's got nice little rubber parts on his face that make it move. There's kind of the roar. He's got buttons right on the back there. Pretty basic figure. Again, kind of more on the seven inch scale. Kind of some more growling noises. So there is the Kong without the beast glove uh, and without his silver tube. So this is just a, a, a very regular seeming Kong. Uh, and Kong and Scar King occasionally have, like to have problems standing up. You gotta play with their feet a little bit here and there to get them to be perfect. Um, and moving into, my like Godzilla here in the box has a little chip on his elbow thing. That's kind of lame. But anyways, moving into the Scar King. This Scar King, actually, the, the whip slash is actually attached to his body. It's, like, glued down so it doesn't come off. Um, but he's got some nice rubbery pieces around the head and neck. There's the, check, the mouth kind of can move. Button again, same as Kong's on the back. And let's listen to Scar King. There's kind of his little grunty, weird noise. And there's his uh, other roar. Um, and like I was kind of saying earlier, I really like Scar King's roar because he kind of has that really intense, like, da -da 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 -da, you know, to it. And you can kind of hear it there. They definitely did not include the best roar. And a part of that, uh, I don't really know why that was the case because Godzilla sounds really good. Kong sounds pretty good. Scar King's definitely was a little to be desired just because I thought his roar was in the movie very unique and cool. So I'm definitely a little disappointed we got kind of stiffed a little bit on the Scar King roar. But guys, let's go ahead and move into the two packs. Alrighty, next we have the two-packs. Obviously, we have the Kong and Scar King two-pack. 
and then the Godzilla and Shimo two pack come up with exclusive paint jobs on the figures. Uh, the Kong and Scar can kind of more of a like red and orangey coloring, and then the Godzilla and the Shimo kind of more of like a bluey ice kind of uh, coloring. I think I actually for the, uh, definitely Shimo. I like the, the the exclusive Shimo better probably. Godzilla is the, the two packs fine. I don't mind. I don't have any problems with the regular ones. And then in terms of these guys, I like the. I think I like the orange paint job a little bit more on them. Just kind of gives them a little extra flair. Scar King is a little bit more. He's kind of lost in his color, but Kong has a really very unique paint job. And then obviously they come with like diorama sets. So the Godzilla and Shimo one kind of comes with a big rib cage and some some Hollow Earth crystals in there. Um, I don't have those here. I don't have the room to display them, so I do the review on these. Both I have reviews on both the two packs on the channel already. But I do the reviews on these, and then I take the I take the displays down, and I just put them in the box uh, where they just kind of live. And then the Scar King and Kong one is kind of some Hollow Earth little platforms, lava platforms, kind of that Shima would be hiding in, uh, living in. And then some more Hollow Earth crystals. But um, definitely very cool figures in these two packs. Scar King has kind of an exclusive whip. Uh, guys, and Shima both come with their breath effects. The regular ones do as well, but definitely really cool to see that. The 6-inch Godzilla does not have the elbow painted. Kind of disappointing there. But very cool. I like the two packs. I like that Playmates does these two packs. I, my only complaint about them is that the two packs come with like cardboard things that you build. And the cardboard things for the Godzilla vs. Kong were a little bit better. They could really hold the weight of the figures. These ones, not so much, not as good. I really wish, even if they charged a couple bucks extra, I would much prefer like plastic buildables that actually really stay together and look look better than just like cardboard foldable things. It's definitely a little underwhelming having the cardboard things, but the exclusive figures, very cool. These are the two two-packs for Godzilla X-Kong. And then here are the standard six-inch figures. Starting on the left side, we have Scar King. Again, this one does have the whip slash that does come off. I just keep that one on there because the exclusive one I have it in his hand, so I just kind of wanted to mix it up, keep one over the shoulder. There is the standard variant of Scar King. Moving into Kong with the Beast Glove without the metal tooth. There he is. Beast Glove looks pretty okay. Got the got the writing on there. There is the Kong. And then we have the two-pack, guys. The Suko with his infamous rock that he throws in the Hollow Earth fight. Cute little green eyes there. Not bad at all for Suko. He's a little bit like Kong and Scar King. Sometimes he doesn't like to stand. The MVP. Titanus Doug. There he is. I love that we got a figure for this guy. He is beautiful. Next up, we have Godzilla pre-evolved with a very cool new um, atomic breath piece. This one, like a lot of, like everything else, uh, the spines look really good on this, by the way. But uh, like all of the stuff from Godzilla vs. Kong, this one does have that removable chest damage. Um, so very interesting to note that they decided to include that on this piece, but not on any of the other figures from this movie. So there is Godzilla pre-evolved. Uh, and interesting, they don't call him pre-evolved on the packaging. He's just Godzilla. There's Godzilla and there's Godzilla evolved. And then here is Shimo. This is obviously the standard paint job for Shimo. It looks a little too, it's, there's just a little too much whiteness. That's why I like that exclusive one a little bit better. Kind of spices things up a little bit more. But definitely a good figure. I love the blue, kind of almost translucent spines on the back. Looks very, very good. And then of course, Godzilla evolved does come with the heat ray. I just, uh, with Shimo comes with the heat ray as well. Just because the um, the exclusive kind of paint job, two-pack ones, I have the heat rays in their mouths, so these ones I do not keep the heat rays. But there's those. I believe I have videos on all of the six-inch figures as well. Feel free to check those out for more information and for all the barcodes to purchase these figures. We cannot forget the Titan Evolution Godzilla, <laughs> the one where we get the Godzilla in the rubber suit, and then you can peel him back, and Godzilla evolved, is hiding back in there. Uh, guys, this one, unfortunately, I have only found one ever and i decided if i can only find one so like he seems to be pretty rare at least down in my areas uh so if that's gonna be the case i'm gonna keep him in the box until i can find one to take out of the box so unfortunately that means no review for this guy until then lots of good okay. reviews on this figure uh already there he is two figures in one godzilla evolved regular godzilla very cool that they decided to do this <laughs> figure uh we'll go ahead and take a look at the barcode if you're interested in trying to track this guy down he has been difficult for me so let me know if you have this found this figure uh, and if he's kind of easy to find in your stores. But I can't wait to find a second one of these because as soon as I do, a review for this guy will go up on the channel. But there's the Titan Evolution Godzilla. Guys, and we did a whole video on these fun little mystery mini packs. There's a bunch of these little crystals. You unbox them and you get one of the four 
main figures. And there's the barcode if you're looking for these. These have been everywhere at my Walmarts. I have not seen them at Target, though. So these might be a Walmart exclusive. But there they are. And then, obviously, you can get Godzilla, Shimo, Kong with the Beast Love, and Scar King. Um, not a ton of detail on these figures. But they're just kind of fun little mystery minis. It was fun buying a couple. And uh, I actually, I think, went, I think I went four for four. Uh, my first four were... I, I didn't double up on anything. So I was able to keep a few in the box. Very exciting about that. And then I also was able, since I bought the whole set, um, or I bought the whole case, I was able to keep the packaging kind of cool there as well. So there's the mystery minis in the Hollow Earth crystals with the surprise monster. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here is all of the Godzilla X Kong, the New Empire Playmates Wave 1 stuff. This does not include the figures, like the 4-inch figures, that last time were a, a 5 Below exclusive. I have yet to find those anywhere in my stores. I don't know if those, I mean, I guess those would probably be part of Wave 1, so I guess I don't have those. So maybe not 100% of the Wave 1 figures, but we're just missing those little 4-inch figures that uh, I haven't really seen anybody talking about yet. I've seen people kind of posting random things here and there of kind of them, but I haven't really seen too many videos of people saying, like, I have them in hand. So hopefully those will turn out very soon. Can't wait for Wave 2. I know we already have some Battle War ones teased. Hopefully we get Mothra. Hopefully we get Silla. Hopefully we get Tiamat. Hopefully we get uh, all sorts of stuff. And I'm hoping, and we've also seen pictures of the two-foot-tall Godzilla and Kong. We have the one-foot-tall ones here. Um, but we're getting two-foot ones. Look those pictures up if you've not seen them. They look awesome. But guys, let me know what is your favorite piece from the Playmates Wave 1 set from GXK. What is your favorite piece? Do you have the whole set? And just let me know your thoughts overall. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you in the next one.